I don't want to deal with this drama right now. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another colorful episode of the Not So Berry Challenge Pink Generation. I think this will be the last episode of Pink. It might be time to say goodbye at last. I know some of you are really ready for a new gen. I'm excited to share a new gen with you guys, but I've had a lot of fun with Pink. I really enjoy this era, even if it's been a bit of a longer one. And I'm so, 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 so excited for our twins. So as a reminder, here are the requirements for the Pink Generation. We have to complete the postcard collection. This has been glitched. I know some of you haven't seen all of the footage of me trying to get these postcards, but I have tried countless times to get the final postcards and it's just glitched. Number two, master the writing and wellness skills. We've already mastered writing. We still have wellness to do, but a lot of you had some really great ideas for that. So I'll be trying those out today. Complete the best-selling author aspirations. We're just missing two best-selling books. I think we can clinch it in this one and have a well-made change art check and quit our day job check. I feel like we've checked off all almost everything. We just need those two books and to finish that skill and we're done. This episode, that's what we're gonna be focusing on. So Rose will have her work cut out for her, but we here, here in Bebe's room, we've got sweet Amber and August in their shared bedroom. Love it. Also, I, some of you guys said it's almost like if Wednesday and Enid got married is this series. And honestly, I totally see it and I love it. So without further ado, Rose is actually in a pretty good mood. It is 7 p.m. So let's grab her some leftovers and get her going because I don't want to waste a moment of time. Our sister is upstairs enjoying herself with our wife Jacqueline taking care of the babies. Meanwhile, Rose is focusing on her goals, okay? We're getting our hunger taken care of. Oh, look, Amber and August are both super hungry. Okay, it's all you, mom. Okay, here we go. We got some bottle feeding and and then we'll have some diaper changing and then we'll have some bouncing. It's all you, Jacqueline. Jacqueline's like covering because Jacqueline wants to bond with the kids since Rose carried them. So Jacqueline's having some fun and also Briar's helping out too. Maybe motherhood isn't fully for Briar. She doesn't quite know what to do to help. She's just kind of cooing at the baby, but it's fine. And we've got Ash a little bit. Why don't we give some food to Ash, honestly? Now let's do, I think some of you guys said a mind concentrating yoga routine might help boost her skill. So we're gonna go outside and we're gonna start with that. And then we are going to get her going on a another one. Amber's still not feeling great. Oh, look at Jacqueline being such a good mom while Rose gets her skills done. She's feeling so happy having her new babies. Woo, look at that. Oh my gosh. She's doing a great job with her wellness skill. Apparently it takes kind of forever to get from level nine to level 10 with wellness. So that's why we made Made sure to get her very focused before we started practicing. So hopefully our skill will go up. I'm also going to double check to see if there's any bonuses we can put on the lot. I want to see if there's one for like wellness. So we might do peace and quiet. They gain skill patcher from reading. Intense moves go away faster. That might be good for her. Let's try with sunny aspect. But if I end up having her start reading a book about wellness, then I will switch to the other one. It's not going up super fast, but it's not not going up fast. Jacqueline went to bed. Oh no, but one of the babies is up. Jacqueline, it's all you, girl. Oh my God, look at all these gnomes stuck in our bedroom. It's okay, sweeties. Let's coo at our babies. So far, so good with our wellness skill, but she is uncomfortably wet and cold from the temperature. So we might have to have her go back inside pretty soon. Yep, she went inside and she's gonna go upstairs, take her bath. Oh my God, they have so many seed packets. The garden will be overrun. We will never be in want of seeds. That's for sure. Jacqueline, what's wrong? Oh, she's still sad about Minnie. How, what a sweetheart. Why don't you take down some decorations and get yourself to bed? You must be a little bit overtired. I love that Rose is having like a nice cozy bath in the bathroom. Whoop, and we got a baby up. Rose, it's all you. Why don't you take care of the baby since you're feeling good? Harvest was successful. Okay, we're gonna use the bathroom. Take a bath really fast. 
We're gonna make sure all your needs are up and then we're gonna go to sleep, I guess, so that tomorrow we can wake up and like hustle. Oh, we got a baby up. All right, this time it's gonna be our other wife's turn. Taking turns here. Oh my gosh, there's always one that is crying. What do you need? Jacqueline, mom of the year, to be honest. She loves her babies. Oh, they're gonna be such good mom. Ah, are you kidding, Amber? Amber's crying. Rose, it's all you. You gotta wake up and feed and bounce her. But she's so focused. It's perfect for her yoga. Rose is gonna go downstairs and focus on the yoga again. She's very focused. Oh, and look at our wife men taking care of our garden, maintaining it. Oh, she could also probably rake the leaves in the garden. That would be cute too. While Rose is having a nice autumnal morning yoga session, making sure she's very focused. Rose lost her sedentary lifestyle, but I, I like that for her. I don't think she's as sedentary as she was when she was a kid. Look at these nice little leaf piles. So sweet. Oh, we can woohoo in the leaves? I didn't realize that you could do that in The Sims. That's funny. Both babies are up and they're crying and stinky. Oh, Johnny said congrats on the new addition to the family. Thank you, Johnny. Oh my gosh, are we almost there? Is this 50%? We're at 50%. Okay, we're halfway. Oh my God, why is this in our front room? Get this out of here. Oh my God, why did she put leaves in it? She tracked it all these leaves. Now we have a lot of money that we can finally finish up the living room, the bedroom, and this bonus room, which I, I'm gonna make Jacqueline's room for now, and then it'll probably be the kid's second room. I know I've already decorated most of the house, but I was thinking that it might be fun to have like pink and gray, like a dark gray, be like the color scheme. Since Jacqueline is more of like a black gray kind of girl, I thought it might be kind of fun because then it would be like a mesh of their two styles. So I might actually do that. I think I'm gonna do it on stream and finish up their house that way. So I'm not gonna do it in this episode. I wanna really focus on the skills and not on upgrading the house. So I'll do that in my other downtime and we'll have like the finished house very soon. August is upset. He needs some attention. I can't wait until we have level 10 of parenting. How is our parenting going? We're almost level three right now with Jacqueline. Luckily the leaf pile is out of the living room. Jacqueline's gonna go upstairs, take care of the kids. We've gathered up the leaves. Rose is enjoying her wellness. We're just gonna leave her there. Jacqueline's already level three of parenting. I think Rose is only level one or two, honestly, of parenting at this point. Yeah, she's only level one. So Jacqueline's been really doing the lion's share of the work. Oh my gosh, we're almost at 70%. I did promise I would do like a second yoga mat for Jacqueline. So I'm just gonna do that really quick before I forget. This one's just black. Perfect. They're yoga mats side by side. Oh my gosh, only 20% to go. While meditating, Rose improved the tune of her personal theme song and gained some singing skill again. Where's her singing at? Level, almost level four. Oh my God, it's the baby's birthday today. Or is it tomorrow? It's Saturday. Saturday is the baby's birthday. Roseberry is so, so close to leveling up. Come on, Rose, you got this. And then I'm gonna have her really fast take a shower and then it'll be time for her to start writing her bestsellers. It's gonna be great. No, 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 kitty. No playing with the trash. Like sure about not getting over the trash can. No, 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 kitty. 100% complete. Oh, we did it. Rose has mastered the wellness skill. Good job, woohoo. Okay, first thing down, baby, let's go. Go. And now we can go upstairs and feed our babies. Give our wife a little bit of a break. Come on, I know you're stinky. Go upstairs and take care of your kids really fast. And then we can have you take a shower and come back downstairs and write your great American novel. Looks like our wife is taking care of the other baby. So we're gonna take a thoughtful shower. And Jacqueline likes fitness. Good for you, Jacqueline. We're a little sleepy, but I think it's perfect time. We're really inspired to write I Love You Baby, our, our children's book. Hopefully we finish it. Oh, and she's thinking of her own own mother right now, Catalina. She didn't have a super close relationship with Catalina, but they bonded a little just later in life. Please don't get too tired. We're right on the edge here. Come on, Rose. Ah, yes, it was a bestseller. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, we only have one most bestseller to go. Oh, we're still apparently playing in the leaves. Oh, Jacqueline's decided to go play in her pile of leaves. Oh, she's got like a wonderful childlike heart in some ways, which is cute. Why don't you just go to bed, Rose? Yeah, go to sleep. You're very focused, but you're tired. We finished I Love You Baby, and we just need to finish one more book. I think it's gotta be a romance novel. Maybe we'll get her really romantic at some point. Why don't you go to bed, Jacqueline? It's almost 
5 a.m. I think you should sleep. One hour later. The kids are awake, but our girl Rose is woken up. It's her turn. And Jacqueline's going to work today. But this is also the day that the kids are gonna age up. We'll have to wait till Jacqueline's home to age up our kids today. Go get some leftovers. Rose, and then we might want to sleep in a little bit more before we write more of our book. She's feeling so focused though. It feels like a shame to not use it, but okay. What is wrong with these babies? Oh my God, these babies are really having a rough go of it. I thought we just fed one of them, but it's fine. We're going back upstairs. She's also very tired from writing her novels and then waking up early to take care of these babies. We need to pet the cat, but also we need the cat out of the way so we can take care of August. Yeah, August just wanted attention. Fair enough, August. I don't blame you. Okay, Jacqueline, have fun at work. Oh, I like her new outfit. It definitely fits her style. Rose, it's time to wake up. The babies are crying. Rose is awake. Oh, but Jacqueline's already home. We just need to write one more book. So we need to get in like a flirty mood. We'll maybe we'll take like a flirty shower. Jacqueline, why don't you take a nice little bubble bath and relax yourself a bit? We're inspired. We're feeling a little flirty. I'm gonna put that here so that we can like enable the aura and go sit down and hopefully we'll be very flirty in order to write a romance novel. Otherwise we're gonna have to get a TV. Perfect. We can write a romance novel, which will be our final book that will hopefully be a bestseller. If it's not that, I guess it won't be our final. We already did a princess in the pauper retelling. Maybe we should do like another fairy tale. It's gonna be a Cinderella retelling called Girls with Glass Slippers. And it's about like a princess falling in love at the ball with a girl who's in disguise and them kind of fighting for their love, I guess. I don't know. It's gonna be great. We need to also have a party for the girls since it's their birthday today. At an event today, I'm just gonna say it's gonna be a house party. It's around five now, so we'll have it at seven. The babies are awake and upset. We need to get them feeling good before the party. Wow, we're so angry. Why don't you calm down? We're over halfway done with this book. The party is starting any minute. Yeah, let's start it. Everyone's gonna come over. We're gonna have our party. Ooh, we need to make a cake. Sydney, come on in. Oh my God, it was not a bestseller. Rats. Okay, I rushed through it, I think. It's okay. Let's go thank everyone for coming. Welcome everyone to the party. Briar is here. We're having a good time with the kids. I think it's almost time to age them up. It is 10 p.m. Oh, especially since one of them seems a little fussy right now. Oh, Jacqueline's mad again. Jacqueline, why? Why don't you go upstairs with your wife? You guys are gonna age the kids up. We're going upstairs into the room. Come age up the daughters. Okay, here we go. Oh, Amber aged up. Okay, she is Peach Jen, and Peach Jen is a lazy foodie goofball. So since you're goofball, I think silly makes the most sense. And August, we'll randomize August. He's an angelic baby. Oh, and look, he's already kind of wearing orange. It reminds me so much of Fox. Literally, Amber looks like a spitting image of Jacqueline, and August kind of looks a lot more like Rose, which I think is very sweet. Let me check them out in Kaz and give them little Kaz makeovers because of course we need Amber to be a peachy looking sim. It might be hard. I haven't downloaded peach hairs yet. So it might be a bit of a challenge. So here is August. He definitely has Rose's skin tone. And here is Amber. She's got these like purpley looking eyes. I think they're similar to Rose's. I'm gonna give her like a peach eye. I don't know if that comes in naturally here. I think these might be the best options for peach eyes. I think I'm gonna go with that. I knew this day was would come in which I'm gonna have to struggle a bit. Okay. Oh, look how pretty. Okay, this is definitely peach. We have peach hair. I think like these red brows are the best. Okay, maybe we'll have freckles. I like the freckles. I'm gonna keep them for now. And then we'll have like a nice little peach blush. Amber looks so cute. And then there's like little makeups you can do on the skin. Like we could make her even peachier. I'm gonna think of Sherbert as her color. All right, so every day. Oh my gosh. Peachy clothes, peachy clothes, peachy, peachy, peach. She's a little jokester. She's like a silly little girl. I wanna see some of that silliness coming out. So this is Amber Berry. I think she looks like a sweet little baby angel.
angel. I think she turned out so cute. All right, and then her brother, August. Like he could also have peach hair, but it might be kind of fun to have him have his mom's dark hair. And I like the curls, cause then it looks like Rose's hair too. We're gonna keep that, but maybe he will have the same eyes as his sister. And then I want him to have the same skin details. So he's gonna have the floor ones without the freckles. For him, I liked the idea that he did have like something Fox related. Maybe I should give him this little hoodie. It looks so much like Fox. Fox, oh. He could have his like Jacqueline's eye color instead. I kind of want him to have a bit more of a mix of Rose and Jacqueline. So I am going to give him like brown eyes like Jacqueline. And then party wear. I love the idea of him wearing like a little suit. So this is August, a little bit more like Jacqueline and Amber, who's a lot more aesthetically dressed like Rose. But I think when she gets a little older, she's gonna be very different than Rose. So don't worry, she's not like a little soft girl. She's more like silly, outgoing, goofy little queen. And I'm super duper excited to get to know both of them. Ah, I love them so much. We do need a little bit of an adjustment in the bedroom for the kids. I'm thinking maybe take out this and maybe this and we'll put like beds over here, little toddler beds. This kind of looks like something our girl Amber might like. And then we could do the car, but with like maybe a different version of the car over here for our boy. So that's their room. And then we'll need maybe some more doodads. Little puppy. Oh my gosh, we can put the puppy plant up there. There's like a pink one that's a pig. Obviously we're putting that up there. They need a nightlight, obviously. Put a little rock lamp in here. Maybe this one next to his bed. Perfect. Great, okay, I think that the room is all set for the kids. Obviously, we might have to like pick them up a little bit because they're toddlers, they're on the second floor. It's not ideal, but oh my gosh, I can't wait to see her in the world. Oh, my little Peach Queen. I actually think we did a pretty good job getting Peach for the kids. I'm happy. Will all my kids have like the same skills? Yes, they will. And then look at little sweet August. Oh my goodness, the kids. We're gonna go up and get the kids. It's almost one, but we wanna show them off. August is downstairs and everyone is leaving from the party. But I wanted Briar to meet our daughter and son. Oh my goodness, look who, okay, no, people are coming back inside. Who are you? Oh, it's Stacy. Stacy, what is that outfit? Okay, Stacy's trying out a new look, that's fine. We're enjoying ourselves. Oh, look at the twins, they're so cute. Can you guys just chat with each other? You just babble to each other and then that's how you learn to talk. Oh my God, look at them. Oh, Fox would love them so much. But it seems most people are going. So it might be time for the kids to be put off to bed. So let's go put Amber to bed and then put August to bed. It's about that time. It is 2.30 a.m. Two hours later. My family is asleep, kind of. We're eating food, we're tired. Briar's hanging out. Oh my God, did Briar just flirt with Jacqueline? Whoa, is free love on? No, free love is not on. This is weird. Briar, stop talking to me. Briar's like, I really enjoy your company. I need sleep. Oh my God, Amber is upset. Jacqueline, why don't you read Amber to sleep, okay? Oh my God, it's, Jacqueline's gotta go into work. Poor Jacqueline, Jacqueline, just read your daughter to sleep. I'm sorry, Amber's up. Up early, but she just had a nightmare. We gotta get her back to bed. We can't. Okay, great. Why don't you sleep? Rose is awake already. Why don't we play with our daughter and tell her a little funny story? I do like that you can tell this is peach and this is pink. That's why the whole time I was going for a very specific look of pink. That way it was very clear when peach came along that it's the warmer pink. I think I nailed it. Very proud of myself. <laughs> We're hopefully cheering Amber up a bit. We're giving her some comfort. It's okay, sweetie. I understand you got scared, but mom and mom are right across the hall. It's your first night in a big girl bed. It's gonna be real scary. Go to sleep, sweetie. You are so tired. And then you, Amber, need to go to sleep too. August is woken up with a nightmare. No, we just got the other one to sleep. Why don't you play quietly with Chompy the monster, okay? Perfect. He's gonna play. Oh my God, Jacqueline needs to go to work. Poor Jacqueline is in bad straits and had no fun. Good luck, Jacqueline, have fun at work. Both of my kids are up now, amazing. We're just gonna sleep the day away, honestly, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Oh no, the cat is waking up our children. No, 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 no. Cat, do not wake our children up. That's gonna make me mad. We're gonna take a angry poo, cause she's angry now. Our sister's over, that's nice. I'm gonna forget that that flirting between my sister and my wife happened 
happened because I don't want that to have happened. I don't want to deal with that. Let's cook together with Briar. So we'll do a party size eggs and toast. It is breakfast time after. Well, it's actually lunchtime. Why are you jumping in my trash? Why don't you join me in cooking and not be jumping in my trash? Come on inside to my friend as well. My sister's helping me. The kids are still sleeping. Jacqueline's home. Jacqueline needs some fun though. Okay, Jacqueline, why don't you garden? I know you like gardening, so hopefully that'll be fun for you. She's a little stressed. It's okay, Jacqueline. Yeah, her fun's going up. Perfect. And then maybe practice some yoga. So this is helpful for her mind, body, and spirit. She's happy now. She's in a better mood. All right, let's write a romantic fiction here. We did a Cinderella one last time. We will do a retelling of Rapunzel. Hair of gold is what it's gonna be called. And it's gonna be a sapphic retelling of Rapunzel. It's gonna be great. Jacqueline's fun is going up significantly, which is perfect. She's just tired. So she's gonna go to bed because she needs some sleep. But now she's feeling in a much better mood. Rose is writing her flirty, flirty work. A bestseller, one might think. Possibly. I feel like the kids should be up by now and they're hungry and needing hygiene. But not my problem. I'm writing while they're sleeping. It's fine. Talk over relationship fears with Jacqueline. Fear of being cheated on? <gasps> she have a dream about Jacqueline and her sister and then her sister flirted with Jacqueline. <gasps> I don't want to deal with this drama right now. I need to finish my romance novels. Girl, we're going to talk with Jacqueline about fears. Jacqueline will be like, hey, you know, there might have been something I was worried about, but honestly, it is not a big deal. I made things clear with your sister. We cleared it up. I thought there might have been something going on. There was not. It's fine. He's got a, a plate he can enjoy while mom finishes up her writing. Come on, bestseller. Come on, bestseller. She's sparkling. It was not a bestseller. Why is this the hardest part? Okay, we're going to go upstairs. We're going to give our son a bath to August because he's up. We're gonna have to power through. I can't not write another bestseller. This is so frustrating. We need to get food up to our daughter as well since they can't walk down to get it. Come grab a serving. Poor Amber is so hungry and filthy. But Rose is having fun. She's feeling confident about her book even though it wasn't a bestseller. August, why don't you play with a toy while Rose is gonna, I think, switch off with her wife to be honest. She's like, hey, it's nice. 9 p.m. It's all you and Jacqueline's gonna have to be like, okay, this is not great. I was thinking that it might be easier having twins with two parents and I'm wrong. I obviously need to pee and I'm hungry and need a shower, but we're gonna give you a bath first so you're comfy. There we go. We're feeling energized though, so not too bad, not too shabby. How is August doing? August is fine. He's having fun. He leveled up his imagination skill. I would love it if you leveled up your movement skill so you could walk down stairs. Let's like wander around and work on that skill. I think Amber also needs to work on her movement skill. So why don't you wander around as well? We're slowly but surely trying to get poor Jacqueline's needs up. These two are a handful. We've got time still. We've got time before the end of this episode. <laughs> it's a need that more than anything. I need this gen to be over. Okay, Amber is movement level two. I wonder if that means she can walk downstairs yet. I don't know. Okay, she can go downstairs now. Okay, so Amber can go downstairs. Oh, August, can you go downstairs yet? No, but he's close. So let's let's have you wander around a bit too. Amber's learning how to go downstairs by herself. Now that they can go downstairs, it's gonna be a little bit easier to get things done, I think, around the house. I think I need you guys to go back to bed. It's 1 a.m. We have your days and nights confused. I'm gonna try to get you guys back on track, okay? So why don't you guys go to bed? You'll wake up in a couple hours and it will be a little bit more of an appropriate time for you guys to be awake. Go back to sleep, darlings. I love you both. Okay, everyone's asleep. This is perfect. The chaos, the chaos was real. Two hours later. Rose is up first. Thank goodness. Let's take a thoughtful shower. She's feeling inspired. We're gonna have our nice toast and we're gonna sit down and we're gonna write a novel. It might be another kid's book. I don't care. Even a short story would be fine. Oh my god, the kids are up. But it's a normal time for them to be up, so I'm fine with it. Seven, like 8 a.m., perfect time for the kids to wake up. Am I going to go up and get them? No, I'm going to go <laughs> write my story. They're chatting with each other. They're fine. They're happy. I don't feel like we needed to be the long story as long as it sells, you know? So our short story is going to be, you know how writers write series and they'll write the like in-between short stories between books? This one will be like that. Hair of gold is the last one. So it'll be cloak of red. And it'll be like a red, a mini red riding hood. It's perfect. And we are so inspired and focused. Oh, they're playing together. Look at these two. They're so cute. Oh, my perfect baby angels. Haven't such a 
good time working on their communication imagination. Oh my good babies. Working at it while mom writes her next bestseller. Oh, look who's up. It's Jacqueline. Jacqueline's away. Oh, the mail has been delivered. We do have some bills we have to pay. But Jacqueline, why don't you do a little morning yoga for yourself? Kids are coming downstairs. Amber's coming down to check on mom who's writing. Oh, she's hungry. Okay, I got you, girl. I got you. Why don't you go grab a serving of that? Oh my goodness, Rose is feeling very flirty. Rose. Apparently, Cloak of Red might be a, a bit of a steamy short story here. I need to know that it's a bestseller. I need this to be a bestseller. Come on, bestseller. Come on, bestseller. Come on. Come on. Yes! Rose has completed the best-selling author aspiration. Let's go! We did it! Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Officially, Pink Jun has been complete. I'm so so, so excited. We have completed as much as we can of the postcard collection, master of writing and wellness skills, completed the best-selling author aspiration, have a well-maintained garden, and quit our day job to pursue our dream of writing, and we did it. Oh my gosh, we don't have to hustle with writing anymore. I think she'll just do it for fun now. Let's submit a new book. We'll do Girls with Glass Slippers, maybe, our first of them. Oh, looks like our garden needs a little bit of a pick-me-up over here. Why don't we water everything and sell everything. All our basil's out of season right now, so we're gonna pick that up. I honestly don't want all these gnomes, but we can keep one of the gnomes, because I like this gnome. It reminds me a little bit of Jacqueline, and then there's another gnome that reminds me more of Rose, which is sweet. I think it's fun that they might each have a little gnome. Perfect. Amber's playing with her superhero toys, and Rose is pretty focused. Rose, I think it might be a good time to chat with Jacqueline. Jacqueline about your fears. So let's listen to Americana music or listen to summer strut music. She wants to listen to music for some reason in order to probably talk over relationship fears with Jacqueline. So let's listen to some music. I guess that might be a thing we might add to this room, like a little stereo of some sort. Well, I guess we'd need like a boom box. I felt like the gramophone feels like them though. I mean, we could do the gramophone over here and then just move the books to like here and maybe the flowers over here too. Or we could maybe see if the flowers can go Go up on the they can go on the mantle that's nice i like it so far although maybe the books can go here oh the books can also go on the mantle perfect well there you have it okay we got the little new stereo let's listen to i think she said she wanted to listen to americana music whatever you're into rose is fine there she goes she's listening to it she wants to talk over relationship fears they need like a little bit of a heart to heart also their like romance has gone down quite a bit since they've had kids maybe we'll recite some love of poetry. We're just gonna have some like nice romantic time. Apologize. I don't know why we're apologizing, but maybe we should work on that. Do a nice little kiss. There we go. Okay, they're having some nice romantic time. Just basking in their love for each other, professing undying love. Sometimes you gotta work a little bit to remind yourself of the spark. But speaking of spark, we need to take care of our children really fast, so why don't you give August a bath? Amber, wake up, please. Please, it's time for potty training. Jacqueline wants to potty train you. Rose is very focused on bathing August, who is the sweetest little bean, flashing around with his curly head of hair. Amber is getting taken upstairs by her mom. I feel like they just needed a little bit of reassurance with each other. Maybe it's bedtime for August. Rose can just chill now. I don't have to hustle her into doing a bunch of stuff for her challenge. It's just mom time, baby. Oh, she just got a sentiment to a Jacqueline, it looks like. Deeply wounded. About what? Oh no, did she like wake up and hear them flirting? Maybe Rose overheard and that's why she feels like she was cheated on. Oh, Jacqueline actually has to talk about it. Talk about relationship fears. Okay, yeah, let's let's talk about it. Go on, Rose, you got this. She does need to put Amber to bed and then they're gonna have a little heart to heart. Why don't you sit here and you both sit together and you have a little conversation about what Rose might have overheard from Jacqueline. Apparently it's not there. Well. Well, maybe they just needed some more loving on each other time. They just had a lot of busy time. I mean, they could have another baby. 
Let me know in the in the comments if you think they should have another baby. They're gonna have like a little woohoo. Like, you know, they're more of a physical couple sometimes. So she's a little bored too. I was like, maybe that would up the boredom. Oh no, Amber is up. Why are you sad? She had a nightmare. Why don't we tuck Amber in? Amber, you're okay. I know Amber's so sad. She's like gonna go wake up her mom, Rose, who's like sleeping. <laughs> Poor baby. Let's hug you lovingly and brighten your day. It's okay, sweetheart. I know it's hard. Embarrassed. Performed poorly. It was not a good woohoo. Jacqueline thought it was a good woohoo. Rose wasn't impressed. Oh no. And she's worried about her. Again, she wants to talk about the issues. We just finished up Pink Jen. I don't want... Oh no. What if Jacqueline and Rose aren't meant to be? Ah, we struggled with them so long. I wanted it to be romantic. I need your guys' opinion. Am I finding a losing battle on this? Should we try to patch it up? I feel pretty betrayed. I also feel betrayed by my sister for flirting with my wife when she's also married and she's my sister. Let's go give Amber a bath. Jacqueline's still in here with us. Apparently Jacqueline had a good woohoo. That's so interesting. Oh, you know, not every woohoo is gonna be good for everyone. That's just life, baby. Why? Why are you up, Amber Berry? Amber Berry, go back to bed. Thank you. Let's go stargazing for a bit. Are you kidding me? The fear thing isn't there anymore. Okay, now it is. Talk over relationship fears with Jacqueline is there. Finally, let's nip this in the bud. Let's figure this out, okay? Oh, Rose put herself forward and opened a line of communication, but the problems aren't over. Maybe another day of communicating her worries will finally overcome her fears. Okay, so she's feeling better, but it's not over. At least they finally got some time to talk it through. They're gonna go to bed, sleep it off. August is first awake and luckily he can go downstairs to go get his breakfast. It might take him a while, but he's gonna get there. Oh, their birthday's on Saturday. Okay, so we'll have like probably one more episode and then they'll, they'll age up. I'm excited to see what August is gonna look like aged up though. All right, Jacqueline, have fun at work. Bye-bye. Ooh, look at that. That's nice. She woke up inspired. Confronting fears one step at a time. Rose has done the first step towards confronting her fears. It will take a little more work to be fully ready to conquer them. That's nice. Oh my gosh, what is that? What is happening? Oh my God. Oh my God, Ash just died. Oh my God, Ash just died. Died. Stop. No, Ash fell asleep. I heard that noise and I really, I straight up thought Ash was dead. But Ash is not even an elder cat yet. So that's not happening. Everything is fine. Oh my gosh. That was so scary for a second there. All right. We're going to potty train our little son here. And then we're going to have to empty the trash because that is stinky. That is so stinky. It's time for our son to get potty trained. This is his first time getting potty trained by either of the parents. Oh, Rose has reached parenting level three. Good job, Rose. And August is a Acquired the potty skill. Good job, August. Oh, Winterfest is tomorrow. That'll be fun to decorate and have a good first Winterfest with the kids. Well, I'm gonna save this here. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Do you think like Rose and Jacqueline are gonna patch up their differences and you know move forward? I don't know how to feel. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. And until next time, I'll see you around the internet very soon for episode one of the Peach Generation. Bye!